All right, what's good, everybody? Okay, it's been a good minute. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. I ain't, do I gotta explain to y'all? Yeah, y'all know how I roll. So, for the newcomers, I always explain. Overtime and family stuff just been really tired, really, y'all. Been, been tired, y'all. Be real with y'all. But, anyway. Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple. I've been uh checking out a little Raven stuff, and let me see if I can get the the uh, the video of this. this is definitely one of those can y'all let me make sure y'all can hear this? This he put this out. I don't know when he put this out. I think Chris Sims, whatever his name is. Um, yeah, when he put this out, I was like, really, dude? Really? But check this out, y'all. This is definitely one of the schedules I looked at and went, hmm, this is a little dangerous. A little dangerous, in my opinion. I mean, again, hey, the Ravens, we know they're good. But for as good as they were last year, right, they had – as much roster turnover as I can remember a team in the championship game having in recent history, right? When you look at it, all the old linemen that are gone, Patrick Queen's gone, right? Patrick Queen, I was like, okay, okay. But I'm like, got to see what Simpson do, but I digress, you know. I mean, they had a, a deep group of guys that are not on the team that they flipped over. And I'm not saying they're not going to be good. I know they're, you know, it's the Ravens. They're going to be good. But, like, how good, you know, how quickly? That, I guess that's what I'm saying, right? You lose two interior old linemen. Your tackles are gone. You got new guys there, new middle linebacker. The, the secondary is going to be completely different. When he said that the secondary is going to be completely different. Hold on. He, 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 he explains it. Right? So that's where Derrick Henry's new to the mix. So that's where I look at the Ravens and go, yeah, I know they're the Ravens. I know they're going to be good. I get it. But it's not exactly the same team that we saw last year. And, you know, it's the Chiefs week one. You could certainly be 0-1. You know, the Raiders, you know, again, chippy, we know that. But, I mean, again, they the, Cowboys, run like crazy. the Bills, the Bengals. I mean, you look at that and you go, hey, the Ravens aren't playing their best football there. They could be sitting there 2-3 and three or 1-4 and four a little bit and digging themselves in the hole. Like, there's real danger in that early part of the schedule, I guess is what I'm saying. It, it definitely opened my eyes a little bit when I first saw it. This is definitely one. Now, when he said the defensive back really changed, it didn't say it on the clip, but he was like, they lost the guy that did seven interceptions or something. Somebody, I think he said that or somebody else said that. And I was like, they talking about Geno. But I'm like, let's be real. Y'all know how I feel about Geno. I ain't for the new people. I ain't really never cared for Geno even last year. Really didn't care for him that much. Like, he was hot, then cold. Like, come on, man. I just, I just didn't feel it, y'all. Like, if you had to choose Cal Hamilton or Geno, everybody going to pick Cal. I'm like, Cal, pro bowler, second year. He's only, he's only going to get better. Then I'm like, you got Nate that's going to be taking uh, Marlon's spot. I'm like, Brandon Stevens playing a lot better. He had a very good year last year. So I'm like, man, come on, y'all. Get, get me with this. I'm like, the, the, the Chiefs, cool. You know what I'm saying? That could be 0-1 or it could be 1-0. Because they might be running like crazy with David Henry to show the league, hey, this is what we're going to do. Lamar done thin down. He's going to be running and passing. And he get, his passing has gotten better year after year after year. Oh, second year of Zay. Come on. You play the Raiders, then you play the Capitals. Y'all, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there, y'all. Your boy trying to figure out how to get tickets right now. But 
I'm trying to, I'm, I'm finding a way. I'm finding a way, y'all. Pray for me. Anyway, but it's like the offensive line, I'm like, okay. But what their offensive line right now is kind of like, you just, you can't really say they're going to be bad. You can't say they're going to be good. It's like neutral right now. We got it. We got it. We got a, a rookie that can play right tackle and left tackle. We know Ronnie Stanley's is in the prove it year. So I'm like this for the people that be in Cleveland, which I think he he gonna be gone. If not this year, next year, I don't see them signing him like that. But he could possibly play better at guard. We don't know. We do not know. And that's the fun thing about the offseason in the NFL. You just don't know. Heck, you can't even say the NBA. Look at NBA. You got the freaking Wolves and the Mavericks. Nobody will say the Wolves and the Mavericks going to be over there. People knew my, my Boston was going to be there. But nobody saw the Pacers like that. Mainly the west side. That, that, that's crazy. That's crazy over there. But anyway, it's just, uh, is, it, is it me? Uh, I just feel like he just be, sometimes he just be kind of throwing himself out there. Like, I know he really don't know the team like that. And that's possibly why. Mainly with that comment with the, the linebacker. But I'm like, bro, we got rope. Like PQ was doing good, but nobody cannot say when Roe got to the team, the whole freaking defense played better. And I'm loving, I'm loving, even though we lost the defense coordinator, but the defense coordinator twice. But you know what I'm saying? You got you, you got a new defense coordinator. So that's gonna be interesting. So I'm like, it's a lot of it's a lot of old, the open doors. So you just can't say, man, that team going to be bad. As long as you have Lamar Jackson, Lamar freaking Jackson as your head franchise quarterback, you will have a chance. You got Zay Flowers, second year, trying to prove it to people. Derrick freaking Henry. He just... You know what I'm saying, y'all? It's it's gonna be ah, it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be sweet, y'all. I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped for it. So what y'all think? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. <sighs> just need to get that off my chest, y'all. I know it's been a minute since I did a video, but just want to get that off my chest. You just don't know. You just don't know. But I'm thinking positive, y'all. So I'm thinking the Ravens are going to do what the Ravens do, and hopefully they will finish their story like Cody Rhodes. Finish the story. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe and God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. Vibe on 11 really turned up.